At this point in time, Sean Strickland doesn't really care about a UFC title anymore. He just wants to make some good money and buy motorbikes, even if he has to fight unranked contenders and propel them to a UFC middleweight title shot. Last year, it was Alex Pereira, and this time around, it's a Dagestani monster in Abu Supyan or Abbas Magomedov, a 25 and 4 professional MMA fighter who dispatched his opponent in only 19 seconds in his UFC debut last year. Has Sean Strickland made a big mistake? Let's find out. Strickland last fought in January, where he snapped a two-fight losing skid by beating Nasurdin Imavov in a light heavyweight bout, but Magomedov is a far tougher fight for him. In his 29 mixed martial arts bouts, the Dagestani has won 25 times with only four losses, and he's currently on a three-fight winning streak. Now many of you might be wondering why he's getting a top 10 opponent in only his second UFC fight. That may be due to his experience and a very fine MMA record. Jiri Prochaska had a somewhat similar record and was fast-tracked to a light heavyweight title shot for the same reason. So we don't mind a fight between Strickland and Magomedov. Strickland doesn't mind it either. He's getting paid a lot of money, which is enough to get him a sports bike, and that's way more precious to him than a UFC belt. Will Strickland regret his short-sighted approach to fighting in the long run? Who has the edge in striking? Strickland is a bit Diaz-like in his approach. He's pretty flat-footed and likes to punish his opponents with constant jabs, volume, and nice boxing combinations. He's getting better with each fight and now tends to let his hands go a bit more than he used to. So in a straight-up boxing match with anyone in the UFC middleweight division, he'll have his fair share of strikes. There's nothing flashy or exciting about his striking, and he's not even the nippiest of strikers out there. But he fights incredibly well. Statistically, he's above average and lands close to six significant strikes per minute on average, but does tend to absorb quite a lot of strikes as well. While Abus Magomedov might be a Dagestani by birth, he was raised in Germany and hence is more of a kickboxer than a sambo fighter or wrestler. He does have excellent wrestling fundamentals, makes no mistake about it, but striking is his bread and butter. Abus is a powerful kickboxer who has a lot of confidence in his combinations and he likes to press his opponents while actively scoring counters. He's a better kicker than Sean Strickland, and we saw that in his most recent fight against Dustin Stoltzfus, where he sent him to the Shadow Realm with a brutal front kick. Strickland has to be very careful of that because his flat-footedness could see him end up getting kicked in the face as well. Magomedov is faster and will likely land the harder shots on the night, with a lot of variety compared to Strickland. But since both fighters don't tend to fatigue over time, we should expect an all-out kickboxing battle for five rounds. Unless, of course, one of the two goes to sleep. Strickland is a very fine striker, but Magomedov is an exceptional kickboxer with good distance management and a lot of tools in his arsenal. So he should have the edge in the striking exchanges for as long as the fight lasts. Who has the edge in grappling? While most of Strickland's fights tend to stay on the feet, he's a very capable wrestler when the fight hits the mat. He likes to catch kicks and then force his opponents onto the canvas. Given the fact that Abus likes to kick a lot, Strickland could catch one of those and put him on his back to either win rounds or finish with him some smashing ground and pound, but it's easier said than done. Apart from catching kicks, Strickland also likes to go for double legs and get behind his opponents to drag them down. Don't let his strange antics outside the octagon fool you into thinking that Strickland is all talk. He's a perfect case of a fighter who started young and raked up tons of experience, just like Magomedov, who's solid on the mat. Given the fact that Magomedov spent 15 years of his life in Dagestan, he has solid wrestling and BJJ fundamentals and is very tricky to deal with on the mat. He has solid takedowns and top control, and it's almost impossible to take him down, especially due to his physicality. And he's sharp off his back, so Strickland will have to be very careful when going for takedowns. Magomedov can take his neck with a guillotine in an instant. All in all, Strickland versus Magomedov will be a fun fight between two highly talented contenders. But Magomedov has more tools to win it, so we are backing him to get the job done on the night. More so, the UFC wants him to win too because Israel Adesanya has virtually cleared out the division, and now the promotion needs new blood to break through and challenge the king. So that's how we see the fight playing out. 
Who are you backing to win the middleweight main event between Sean Strickland and Abus Magomedov at UFC Vegas 76?